Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I run a channel called Keeping It Real. And today I'm going to be just going through some of my reselling jewelry. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. My links will be in the description. And I keep my jewelry in bins such as these, pretty big, pretty big size bin. Um, I think they are 12 by 14. I picked them up at Walmart. And I have, goodness, probably about 60 or 70 of them. And they are all filled with jewelry. So I like to pick up costume jewelry, um, usually on one platform and I flip it on the other. Or um, closeouts, you know, online, thrift stores, etc. I pick jewelry up in bulk and usually um, it's secondhand used costume jewelry. Sometimes it will have like a Torrid or Lane Bryant sticker on it and then I'll know that it's a branded. But for the most part, it's unbranded. And I sell, um, I have 4,000 pieces listed on Poshmark. And my jewelry that is $30, it used to be $20 and under. I just moved it up to $30 and under. It's all buy one, get one free. And so uh, I have all my jewelry, all 4,000 pieces. Uh, one man show here. I list it on Poshmark and when you add it to your cart, which is your bundle on Poshmark, you add two, four, six, you know, any pieces that you like. And then I send a buy one, get one free offer. So in other words, if you just want two pieces and they're $15 each, I'll send you an offer for $15 and you'll be paying one shipping fee that Poshmark sets, which is just under $8, which is more than eBay. And a lot of people don't like that. That said, eBay goes by weight only. Poshmark goes by a flat rate as long as it's five pounds or under. And you know how much jewelry, like, I think these 100 to 200 pieces in here probably weigh about five pounds. So the more you buy, the better deal technically you're getting because my jewelry is buy one, get one free. Sometimes you will um, have someone who just wants one piece, one piece of jewelry. And so if it's listed for 15, they'll send me like maybe a $10 offer. I usually tell them, would you like to add another piece for free? Because there's no offers, it's just 15, and then you get to pick out, out a freebie. So then there would be 750 a piece, technically. And in that case, um, you have people sometimes, oh, thank you, you know, I didn't realize. Or you have people that say, no, they're just interested in one piece and they would appreciate it to get a deal at $10. So um, most of the times I accommodate. But um, Poshmark, excuse me, Poshmark will take a $3, anything under $10, they'll automatically take a $3 um, fee off of that. So you cannot sell things for $3 on Poshmark unless you are going to make a five cent commission, actually five cents. If you sell something for three, they'll take $2.95. So if you are selling on Poshmark, you really, really want to sell things I like the smallest amount of money to be $15, which is usually my jewelry, buy one, get one free. So that is how the jewelry works uh, for my Poshmark closet. It's buy one, get one free. And the pieces that are $25 um, are also buy one, get one free. And sometimes people will bundle one $25 piece and one $15 piece, and then I will send them an offer for the highest amount, amount first. Just like if you're going to a grocery store and purchasing, buy one, get one free. Pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people don't understand. So that's why I do like to explain it. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to be just going through and showing you a little bit of the jewelry that I sell. If you're interested in anything, go check it out on my Poshmark closet. Again, that will be linked in my description. And uh, my jewelry is buy and get one free. So if you um, find me and you find some pieces you'd like to buy, bundle them up and I'll send you the offer. Or if you... Um, want to bundle it two pieces for 15 you could send me the $15 offer and then I will accept it if you bundle two pieces for $25 $25 offer kind of like 50% off if they're the same cost okay that was a super long intro but I just wanted to talk about how the jewelry works and that way um, 
you know, just gives you a better idea of how I sell the jewelry. So jewelry is my bread and butter. No one's getting rich here, but it's nice to just um, keep all this jewelry off the landfill and anything that's old is new again with a new consumer. So here we go with, I'm just gonna, I'm using my camera right now. I hope that I'm in frame and everything. Um, use my camera phone. So I'm trying to look at the lens, but in order to show you, I may have to look here. <laughs> so if you see me, you know, like that, that is what I'm doing. I'm using my phone. And excuse this mess right here, again, or not. We're keeping it real here. That's the name of my channel. And I am trying something new with my hair, some Velcro ro rollers. So there we go. Okay, so the first piece is this green necklace and it's cold to touch. So that tells me right off the back that it is a natural stone, very boho, beautiful. I do not know um, what kind of stone. If you do, please comment and let me know. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty, it's just so pretty. And um, I know uh, certain gems and I know um, like what Jade looks like and um, hear it. But I don't think this is Jade. I know what Jasper looks like. I know a few of what stones look like, but far from an expert. And I know I have a lot of experts um, on YouTube. So if anybody knows, let me know. That way uh, I could call it something other than stone necklace in my closet. And then it's just a little button closure. Very, very pretty. Very, very nice boho. And so I just buy these little bags on Amazon or sometimes I'm able to thrift them. All right. Next are these little earrings. I probably won't get through this whole bin because I don't want the video to be an hour long. But, you know, I'll do what I can. And here are these little earrings. No stones missing. Let's see, about one inch in length. And that's what those look like. Very, very pretty. All right. Uh, if I have any resellers watching and you have a YouTube channel, comment because I will go watch your videos and support you. All right, next are a bunch of bracelets. And when I first started selling jewelry in 2016, I lotted them all together, which means I'm sitting on these since 2016. Um, they are very cool to touch too. Nowadays, when I list jewelry, it's separate. So I'd be listing all of my jewelry separate, 15, 15, 15, but right here, this is five, five, neck, five bracelets that you're getting. And I probably, I don't have, um, my store up right now with my laptop, otherwise I would tell you, but I think I probably have all of these listed for 20 together, which means technically with the buy one, get one free, you'll you'll be getting them for 10. And um, if you haven't priced costume jewelry lately, yikes. I'm gonna say this alone is probably 15 to $20 at the mall. I mean, these, they're just, but that's just the way things in cost have uh, gone up. This was, so, it's nice to be able to get new to you items. Wait, is that? Yeah. That, so anyways, this is how this little stack looks. Very, very boho. So if that is your vibe. Oh, this is a magnetic carry. I'm trying to put it on like a bangle and it's a magnetic. Oh, there we go. So that is how the stack looks. There we go. All righty. So I do sell jewelry, clothing, handbags, shoes, a little bit of hard goods, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of perfume. Those are what I sell. But jewelry, I just sell on Poshmark, not eBay. There we go. All right, next is a bracelet. Opens like that. Probably, again, have this listed for 15, so it'll be 750. And, oh, that's really pretty. Very, very pretty. That is really, really pretty. It is nice to accessorize your outfit, even if you are not going anywhere. Um, 
when you see other women and they just look like they have a little elevation going on and um, it's usually because they're wearing a piece of jewelry. So adding a little bit of jewelry, whether it's, you know, earrings, a necklace, a bracelet, or maybe just some rings, it makes anything, even your most boring outfit, if you had jeans and a t-shirt on. So picture your favorite jeans, they're comfortable, they're broken in, a white crew neck or v-neck, but a crew neck would look really nice, um, t-shirt and like something like this. And then you have a statement necklace on. Statement necklaces are coming back in style right now. Uh, for the past five years, we've had minimal jewelry that was very popular. Now it's more statement um, jewelry, but honestly, whatever you like, whatever you like to wear. As I was saying though, when um, when you see other women and they look particularly put together, it's usually accessories. Because again, you could take the most boring outfit and you throw on a nice bag, clean shoes, and some jewelry. It doesn't need to be expensive jewelry. And it just levels up your outfit. You look a little bit more put together. Um, same if you don't have any jewelry on and you have your leggings and oversized hoodie on. Um, you know, brushing your hair, doing your hair, putting a few curls in your hair, put on some lip gloss, mascara. You don't need to be completely dolled up. We're not Barbie dolls here, but you can just put minimal effort, not much, just a little mascara, a little lip, add some accessories to your outfit, and you will notice that you feel better, you look better, and um, we all know that you are addressed how you dress. So there, those are really cute. Gold chain, one, two, three, four. Those are really adorable. Very, very pretty earrings, about two inches in length. So yes, these. And then also uh, monochromatic looks. Picture an all black outfit. Black always makes everybody always feel their best, or so the fashion magazines say. An all black outfit with any earrings you want. Same with all white, all red, all gray. Um, neutral tones always look elevated. So if you are head to toe in neutral tones, and then you just do a, a pop of color. Maybe um, if you're used to wearing black eyeliner and black mascara, try your black mascara, but like a navy blue eyeliner, you know, just something different. Blue earrings, blue hoops instead of your gold and silver. It's a little, un a little unexpected to add a pop of color. And you could do that, your nails pop of color. You know, we all know a French manicure or just a clear coat looks uh you know nice clean girl aesthetic but a pop of color pop of color looks great with any color that you're wearing so a little bit of fashion advice unsolicited advice <laughs> all right so now we have a bracelet this is adorable it's vintage and see that little cut out heart in the inside um no sticker i i don't even know where it came from so, I mean, I know what it came from because I brought it secondhand at a thrift store. But um, if anyone knows, like, obviously all the jewelry eventually, um, at one time it had a brand. But I have no way of knowing the brands because everything is secondhand. How are we doing with time here? It is 13 minutes in. That was a long intro. All right. And this is... Um, it feels like a coated wood. Again, it would be boho. Um, most of your necklaces, uh, chokers are usually 14 to 16 inches. And then they jump to 18 inches. And there's 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, and 36. 36 is opera length, yardstick. Think yardstick, the kind that, the necklaces that you have to twist over two or three times to wear. So it's pretty easy to, um, and maybe it's just because of all the jewelry that's passed through my hands, but it's pretty easy for me to look at it and know, um, oh, that's 22 inches, you know, in length. And that's the same way I do that with inseams all, all the time and dress lengths. And um, you just get used to it. Okay, so here, green and blue. And this looks like a bracelet. Nope, not a bracelet. Whoa, it is a Y vintage, maybe early 2000s necklace. 
Looks like it would have came from Airy or American um, Eagle back in the day. So that's what she looks like. And this is definitely a lot longer. And then it also has that you can make it even longer. And it is just blue and green. Okay. Next. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Okay, here we go. So this is a perfect example. I'm gonna say, ooh, that's pretty long. Um, 28. This might be three feet. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna say that's a full yard, yard stick. So, feels very well made and you would wear it crossed over like that. Again, just really pretty, very simple to wear. And what I like to do with these super long ones is that if you do not want to wear a necklace or you've already, actually this bobble one it would go with, you can also take these and, uh, and make them um, a bracelet when they're super, super long like that. And see, it's not falling off. It's actually a pretty good length of a bracelet. So if you already have some vintage jewelry in your stash that you've either inherited or someone, a friend has passed on to you, um, and you don't know how to wear it, maybe you don't like a long necklace, you could make it into a bracelet. Or just wear it, just wear it, you know, wear it with whatever you have on. Again, a nice little bracelet. These little leather ones are quite nice and they are adjustable. Very pretty. Leather strap. This looks like something maybe J. Crew would have um, put out back in the day. Oh, there we go. I actually see a brand on it. And it's not J. Crew, it's Laya Sophia. Laya Sophia. So I didn't notice that when I listed it. So I'm going to have to go and put that in the description because Laya Sophia, ooh, I think it's QVC or HSN, correct me if I'm wrong, or maybe it's the department store. But um, I sell jewelry of that brand when I have it listed as, as such. People do do a search for Laya Sophia. Okay, um, here's some cutout filigree silver tone hoops. And they're little chubby silver tone hoops. And I do not see any brand on these. I don't know. So those most likely also are listed for 15 with the buy one, get one free, $7.50. All right. Wow. Beautiful cold beads, but they are not real. I mean, they're real beads. They're not, they're not pearls. That's what, I was, that's what I was trying to say. Again, with a super long, you'd have to wear it like this and it would probably fit over your head. I would show you if I didn't have curlers in my hair. So those are really pretty. What do you guys think about this light setup? Because I have a ring light in front of me. I am not wearing my glasses because in some of my videos you could see the ring light in my glasses, which is the distraction for you guys. So I'm winging it, but I have this um, back background. I'm sitting at my table that I wrap things. And I think there is some kind of shadow action there. Apologize for that. But it is kind of rainy out today. And the lighting is just not good, hence my ring light. All right, so this is because of how I bag them. Okay, here we go. These are very cold too, cold to touch. These might be glass beads. They're faucetted. Okay, and this is a necklace and it has the lobster claw or crab call, lobster, lobster claw, which is my favorite. Very easy to, um, to maneuver if you are wearing nails, if you have nails, really easy. There we go. Very nice. That said, if you do have long nails, ladies, and you have trouble, um, if you have trouble clasp, clasping it with your nails, um, I'll try to find it and link it in my description, but um, these are nice, modern, easy length. But when I have super long, like talon nails, I use these little magnetic, um, they're from Amazon. I don't, know the, the, I don't know what they're called, but I will link them. 
um, if I could find them. So it's like this little tiny little chain and it's magnetic and it hooks on each end and then it, and it just magnetics. So it's strong. It, it, you know, you're not gonna, it may feel like, oh, I'm wearing this and it might fall. It won't fall. I've tried before, I've ran, you know, it's not, they work really good. So if you um, do have nails or your hands are shaky, um, and you have issues putting on necklaces, that's why you don't wear them. There is hope. And again, I think they are $6 maybe. They're not, they're not that much at all. And it's just, it's those little things that just make your life a little bit easier if you had, I'm not talking about get every gadget in the world, but little things like that, I find um, as I'm getting older, I don't, I don't want to spend, you know, more than 60 seconds or a minute or two trying to get jewelry on. I want to be able to just put it on and go. And so little um, things like that make it a lot easier. So these are called screw back earrings. There's clip ons, there's screw backs. And these were really popular in the 40s. And this is called, this uh, material is called cellulite, not cellulite. Yes, it's called cellulite. You know, it's bumpy. <laughs> It's called celluloid, celluloid. Um, it looks like ivory to me. I have some real ivory, which is banned in America. I have some vintage ivory. And when I first saw these, I got excited. I thought they were ivory, but they are not. They're celluloid. They are amazing. I wonder who bought these way, way back when and where did that person go? They're just gorgeous. Get them in frame. Okay, so I store my jewelry, about 100 items per bin, and then in my listings in the description, I'll put, like this has been 20, so I'll put 20 in the description. I have A through Z, I have 1 through 50, and that is how I, um, I store it. So when I do sell it, it will say, for example, it's in bin 20, and that just means I'm going to be dumping all this out, and I look and find it. Okay, these little tiny, tiny faux gar garnet studs. Great for a second hole or third hole. All right, moving right along. I have some silver hoops, kind of brushed. They look maybe about a two inch hoop. All right. And it's a mixture of brooches, earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. Oh, and I have some, um, well, pins, brooches, pins. This is a really nice set. I believe this is a two or three piece set. Let me see. I'm not sure. Two piece. Ooh. So Mother of Pearl, I'm going to say that's the most popular, um, what is it, organic matter, whatever it's made out of, that I sell. Uh, I do not sell any diamonds because if I'm sourcing diamonds, they're for myself. But Mother of Pearl, can we see this? Can we see this? Mother of Pearl is very popular and it comes in an array of colors. This is white and it has little glass beads in between. It's a necklace, white and pearl, and it has matching earrings. So I have the, um, the whole set listed. And you could kind of hear, you know, the noise the noise the mother of pearl makes. So I'm gonna say currently that has been my most uh, bought fabric, organic fabric or materials, I guess I should say. People must be searching for mother of pearl because my mother and pearl shell earrings, blue, orange, I have all the colors, purple, the purple is very popular in my closet. Uh, they sell out pretty quick. Okay, so this, another, it would be a yardstick. And it also is Mother of Pearl. It's gray Mother of Pearl disc, cold, and you would wear it like this. And picture in the fall and the winter, your basic solid color sweater. Solid color sweater, throw on some beads or your favorite necklace, throw on some earrings. Uh, if you are not into fussing around with your hair, throw your hair in a ponytail and mascara and lip gloss you're good to go you look put together you made some effort and it doesn't take that long it really doesn't there we go these are silk wrapped bobble beaded earrings i wear these myself but like the smaller ones 
I have a pair of, of pink and blue. And from the research that I've done, they are, they're from the 70s. Not to say that these might be a reproduc reproduction, but they look pretty old. So I'm gonna say they're probably from the 70s as well. All right, we are nowhere near done. I'm gonna start picking up the pace with some earrings though, because they're not in the bag and we're almost a half hour in. Okay, so here's a little pearl beaded, sort of a choker. It has a little heart clasp and it has the lobster claw. There we go. It's about that, that way, just that length. And it has little gold beads in between. So again, not real pearl. However, I do sell. I sell real pearls and I sell them for under $25. Okay, let's try to go through some earrings since the earrings are basically not in bags and they're like this. All right, so here's some earrings. That color is stunning, stunning, like almost a, a richer Tiffany blue green color. All right, stars. Again, if anyone is interested in any of these earrings, you can find them in my Poshmark closet in the description and they are buy one, get one free. You can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Okay. Pink flowers. That one's missing one. Enamel moons, enamel jewelry. Think Olivia Newton-John from my 80s girls. Very popular in the 80s. Or um, if your mom or grannies used to watch soap operas, a lot of the more big and bodacious earrings, they remind me of soaps. All right, so these are clip-on. Remember I showed you the screw back a few minutes ago. And let me show you the difference between a clip-on ear. Whoops, I don't wanna break it. I've done that before. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's a clip-on. So a clip-on, versus the screw back earrings, here we go. See, that's a screw back and that's a clip. So when you clip it on, or when you screw it on your ear, you have to make it tight like this, okay? Versus the clip-ons, I do have earrings on, but I'll just show you. And you, you put it on, this is, this is great if you want a second hole, but you don't want the pain of a second hole in your ear, there. And that's how it looks. Um, yeah, pretty easy. All right, where are you? Here it is right here. And then there's the other one. So clip on earrings. All right, oh, look at those. Kind of a, they're called a touch too. Don't know what that fabric is. Gray with little swirls and iridescent purple glass beads on top all right oh my goodness look at those they are screaming 80s lead and nickel free paris collection beautiful 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 okay here we go speaking of pearls these are an example of my new sterling silver i could see the 925 on both of them and these are pearl studs um they're just beautiful they're so glossy and if the more you wear pearls the better they get they um i have a friend who told me her mom used to sleep with her real pearl necklace because the oils and everything from your skin you could wear pearls and just do everything you know shower sleep and um they get smoother and more pearly apparently with wear sort of like a good leather jacket the more you wear it the softer it gets so you could see hopefully the iridescent in there. You could see pink, purple, green. You could see all the beautiful colors on these freshwater pearls. Beautiful. And they are sterling silver post. I think I have them listed for 25. All right, here is some cute little Christmas sequin snowman earrings. They look, maybe they were homemade, felt and glitter and good quality glitter because there's no loose glitter in the bag, which is a good sign. All right, pink button retro. These are called button earrings and they are metal. Ooh, 
throwing them around. And these always remind me um, if you have like a swing style, like swing dancing, or picture a black and white polka dot dress, pink and white polka dot dress, and then just some uh, retro button earrings. Oh, so it would look beautiful. Okay, genuine turquoise, here we go. These say sterling silver, sterling silver, genuine stone, turquoise earrings. And these look, new, these look brand new. Yeah, stud earrings. Actually, funny story with these. I had someone um, say that they were very interested in them, but they wanted to know what mine, um, what mine was the turquoise harvest at. And the fact that she thought I knew, which is just, wow. I wanted to, t I wanted to message her back and say like, oh, it was the Phoenix, Arizona one, you know, cause I know there's a mine over there. There's also Las Vegas mines, but how would I know that exactly of what mine they were, you know, harvest at? Anyways, okay, glass. Okay, so they are cold to touch, but another clue is if you could see the wire through them like that, that's usually an indication and a sign that they are most likely glass. So that's another, they're cold to touch and you could see inside, they look like light bulbs. All right, how about those? They're, so it's like a little gold hoop, but it does have a removable blue, not cold to touch, actually it looks like a, a wooden bead, a blue wooden bead off of a gold hoop. All right, we're just gonna do a few more so it doesn't have to be so long. One inch silver hoops. I just wanted to show you a good variety of what I had listed. I made the other half of this video, um, just make two videos so they're not so long. Look at those, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. And they are metal and glass, beautiful. All right, little crystals, crystals, dangly crystals, and let's see. Gold heart, one inch with a rose in the middle and gray. These look very, very old. Those are the type of earrings. Um, it's not claw, it's not lobster claw. Oh gosh, I'm not sure if it's a clam. I forgot what that clasp was called. If anyone knows, comment below. And there's a little pearl, and these just look very old to me. Vintagey. Alright, empty. Again, glass, half inch red glass square earrings. Little swirly black. I don't think that's real onyx. It's a little bit cold though. Silver one inch earrings. These need the back, the backings I see. Must have came off. Boho, very boho. Southwestern. All right. Oh, what do we have here? We have some star earrings and they look like they are rhinestone and they are stuck on here. Oh my goodness, stuck with a necklace. Okay, here we go. So they are stars, one inch stars and they have the rhinestones on the side. All right, how about those silver domes? Those are really pretty. Silver domes. All right, I have a little necklace here, and it is a heart necklace, adjustable. All right, there's the stones in there, green and blue, green and blue. All right, um, a few more. A ring, when, I think I, when I searched these, these came from Hot Topic, but I think they have them at Torrid as well in Lane Bryant, so just a big, um, probably size seven, Green, uh, gray rose ring. Um, some little wooden laser cuts, very lightweight wooden earrings. They're very lightweight, but they are real wood, guys. Look at that. Okay. All right, um, let's see, one more, one more. How about this? A purple, how many, how many strands is that? Let's see, I have a multi-strand purple beaded necklace. 
and it is a little bit tangled, bear with me. So it is super, like a lot of strands, I'm gonna say, let's see, like maybe a dozen strands. It's gonna have to take some work here to untangle. There we go, oh, maybe not work. Okay, that was pretty easy, Never mind. So yes, purple. And there you have it, I have, let's see, I'm gonna say that I did about a half. So I think I'm just gonna make it a second video, guys, to do the other half, so it doesn't bore you. Um, hopefully you're interested in jewelry. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about any of this jewelry, please let me know. It is all secondhand, and I am not the original owner, and I'm not a jewelry expert. So I appreciate you for sticking in. If you're, already, if you're still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. If people are interested in jewelry, reselling, check out my closets. They are in the description. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.